so here we discuss question number six in assignment uh, number one so well uh, let us uh, have a look uh, the question number six so question number six <coughs> well this is the last question in assignment number one <coughs> so let a is subset of r n so to show a is compact we can only if a is closed and bounded so there are two parts uh, so first we <coughs> so first we uh, assume that uh, a is closed and bounded so first we prove the converse so suppose a is closed and bounded subset of rn closed plus bounded subset of rn <coughs> this is our assumption to show a is compact okay so a is bounded implies there exist some m positive real number that is m belongs to r greater than 0 such that a is subset of the product minus m comma close interval minus m comma m Cartesian product we and so on minus m comma m okay so this is n fold uh, Cartesian product of the closed interval uh, minus m comma m now by Henny Bodel theorem implies no. let us uh, denote this by x where x is this product Cartesian n fold Cartesian product of uh, closed interval minus m comma m so any model theorem implies uh, x is compact now question number c 5 So question number five implies so A is compact. Okay, so so by any model theorem, uh, you know, the converse so reverse direction is uh, very easy. Now we prove the uh, uh, other part let so here uh, our assumption is following so suppose suppose a is compact okay now to show that 
a is bounded and second thing is closed so so for boundedness uh, let let uh, let us consider b 0 comma k so this is basically the set of all points in r n such that norm of x less than k so this is uh, an open ball uh, in r n with centered at 0 and radius k and collection of this over the set of natural numbers k belongs to so this is the index set so this is an open cover so this, this uh, basically this covers uh, uh, rn so this is an in particular this is an open cover of a okay and a is compact implies so a is compact implies it admits a finite subcover so a compact uh, implies there exists a finite subcover Uh, let's say b zero comma small m i where i equal to one and so on to l l is some finite uh, uh, number so this is finite now let m equal to maximum of li sorry this is uh, this is uh, maximum of mi where i equal to 1 and so on to l then then uh, a is subset of b 0 m and this is equal to union of b 0 m i where union is over i equal to 1 to l okay so this implies a is bounded okay so so it's basically if a is like this then there exists a sufficient large open ball this is b 0 m that contains uh, the set a and therefore a is so this radius is big m so a is bounded okay now it remains to prove a is closed in rn so to prove a is closed subset of r n it suffices to show enough to show r n minus a is open so we now uh, use the definition of open set uh, to show uh, r n minus a is open so let 
<coughs> x belongs to R n minus a. So basically, we have to show that there exists an open ball with center at x and some radius uh, delta greater than zero, such that uh, the ball uh, b x comma delta contained in is a subset of R n minus a. Okay. Now, uh, okay. So, so let uh, let us fix some point x naught. So for a belongs to a. So if so, let us draw a picture. Suppose this is a, uh, and x belongs to uh, the complement of a in R n. So suppose this is x. So x naught. Okay. So for so for a in a so a is not equal to x naught this means distance from a to x naught this is greater than 0 okay and take delta a equal to d a x naught over let's say 3 this is uh, strictly positive so that implies b x naught comma delta a intersection with d a comma delta a this is equal to empty so here we have ball of radius delta a and here we have ball of radius delta a with center at x naught and f a so they are uh, disjoint now so let us move to the next page now consider consider v a comma delta a over a belongs to a this is an open cover of a and a is compact implies this open cover has a finite subcover there exists a finite subcover b a i comma delta a i i runs through one to some small k okay now now let uh, define delta equal to minimum of delta a i so delta a i uh, positive so minimum of finite limiting positive number is again uh, positive number so delta is also positive now consider b x naught comma delta this is an open neighborhood open neighborhood of x naught now note that so this open neighborhood contain in uh, contain in uh, rn minus a so b x naught comma delta restriction with the union b a i delta a i I equal to 1 to k this is equal to empty set okay and a is subset of 
this okay and a subset of this the same place a intersection with b x naught delta this is comma equal to empty in the same place a contained in sorry this implies b x naught delta contained in r m minus a therefore r m minus a is open so this happens for arbitrary x naught so for arbitrary x naught we have some open ball with centered at x naught and for some uh, radius delta get to be zero so that b x naught comma delta contained in r n minus a okay so as x naught is arbitrary point in r n minus a so r n minus a is open okay so this implies a is closed so this completes uh, the solution to question number six so here before um, we stop we uh, a remark uh, so this is true for so this is true means this uh, question number six is true for every matrix space x comma d so instead of r n we take any matrix space uh, x comma d and for any matrix space x comma d this is also true okay so let's stop here